like the soundtrack for this morning. This is Rose. <laughs> so today we're going to go do the long um, four to six hour trek in the uh, National Park. I forgot the name of Great soundtrack for the drive there this morning. Cool. And uh, it's a bit misty, but it's already starting to burn off with the sun coming up. So today's plan we're at this National Park. I'm going to go somewhere around here. Yeah. There's the plan. For this is a medicine plant for the stomach pain. So at the minute our guide told us we're currently in secondary forest which means there's a lot of um, invasive species here which have been brought to Madagascar throughout the previous hundred years such as the pine trees were brought here um, by the French, well I was told by the French, the French colonial period for timber. There's also a lot of uh, vines, grape vines around as well, which were again brought here by the, uh, the French for wine. And that's what a lot of the secondary forest is in Madagascar. That I've noticed a lot of the forests in Madagascar as are secondary because of all the invasive species being brought in throughout the, the kind of years of different civilizations and cultures finding Madagascar. It's quite common. And I, I'm not sure if they will go into primary, which is the all the native species. I guess we'll see. Just seen the what was the name again? Diadent. Diadent Sifaka. Diadent Sifaka. His Everest's favourite Sifaka. Yeah, my favourite stream is Sifaka. Very lucky to see her. It's a family group, wasn't it? Yes. Did you get Everest right. doing the calls on there? I think I got a bit of Everest doing the calls. <laughs> I got some good videos of Everest. Brilliant. Another new Lima species. <laughs> What most of the time is like the Everest. It's one of the main paths, you'll spot something and then go charging off into the bush. But we then have to follow it. Now I'm trying to keep up with him. I don't know how he spots half the creatures here. We have trouble enough spotting our guide in the jungle while we run off. Right, I'll see what he's found this time. That's the Idri again. We're currently racing through the jungle to try and find them.
our third species of the day of lima. Not today. Not today. How many lima species have we seen today? We have seen uh, today or yeah today. Today number three. Three, species. three species. Yeah, yeah, third species. <laughs> and that was the eastern woolly lima. So next we're going to go far, try and find the brown lima. That's us done for the, uh, the park today. We're going to now go to the local village. It's pretty good. I'll stop the GPS because I've been recording that. Ooh, very blinding. Um, we're going to get some refreshments. We're going to head to the local village to see if we can find some brown lemurs. And then this afternoon, I think we're going to go to a different park to see if we can see some of the other species as well. Also found the, the brown lima. Loves his beard and his shirt. I did. I <laughs> Very, very soft. Why do you like my? Oh, see everything there. Put on booty shell. There we go. That's like sexy. <laughs> That's a brown lemur. <laughs> so I found out for this island reserve that all the lemurs here are actually rescue lemurs um, from from villages. Which is one of the reasons they're on this island is they wouldn't have a lot of the skills to uh, to actually have to survive in the wild. And we're going to get a canoe now to one of the. Small eyes, which has some of the ring-tailed lemurs. <laughs> so we have Everest, and Everest's his brother, <laughs> taking us to the the smaller island with the ring-tailed lemurs on. Risking death down the Amazon just another day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lemurs absolutely everywhere here. <laughs> Those are the ringtail lemurs, another species, oh, not native to this area, but they are rescue lemurs. Commonly found in, is it the south they're found in? Yes, yeah, it's it's south, south, of Madagascar. south of Madagascar. But because they are being rescued from villages having them as pets, or people having them as pets, they are uh, they've adapted well to the, this environment here in the sort of central to, to northern and eastern areas. Although not not the natural environment, it's all brilliant to see another lemur in there. The, the common one we recognise from the zoos all over the world. Really, really nice to see. Uh, so we've been back at the uh, bungalows for about 15 minutes. We were going to have about an hour and a half off before we went for a, went for a night walk again at um, 6 p.m. But whilst Everest, I thought we was going to have time off. He actually went out and did some reconnaissance and just came rushing back at quarter past five so that he's found the, the leaf tail gecko which is a species I really particularly wanted to see and photograph so change of plan I'm going to rush out now with him hopefully find this uh, leaf tail gecko and then carry on into the uh, the night walk cannot wait hopefully we can find this before it's left what a guy to uh, be with us all day and then have an hour and a bit off when he wasn't working with us to then go out and do reconnaissance for the night walk later on Fantastic man. Right, we've got the stamped 
stump-tailed gecko. No, sorry, stump-tailed chameleon. Which apparently is very, very rare to see. Just on the way back to the night walk was fantastic. I've had, you know, we saw the stump-tailed um, chameleon. So today we saw stump-tailed chameleon, um, leaf-tailed gecko, and golden sifaka. Which our guide said is, you know, that doesn't happen, you don't see those three rare ones in one day. And I'm just on the way back for this little guy. There you go. I love brain manises. <laughs> oh, he's pissed off now. Ah. So he's only on the camera. Come on, little guy. There we go. Leave him to, to go. I'm going to leave him be now. <laughs> Tomorrow is a mammoth travel day. Another early start. Well, not that early, it's a 6 a.m. start, which isn't too bad. Um, but I've got to get to. I can't remember half the name of the place I got to go to tomorrow, but I've got to go to Muramanga from here, which is half an hour. Uh, and that is one of the main hubs. And I've got to go to somewhere else up the coast. Where's the light switch? Uh, to then get a taxi booth to somewhere else, and then a taxi booth to somewhere else again. But now I've got to write up the report for today. I've said goodbye to, to, to Rose. Um, I might see her in St. Marie actually, because she's got a different plan. She's gonna go to, into the canals for a few days. So I might even see her in the last day I'm on the St. Marie Islands, which is coming up. That should be good fun. But now I'm gonna work on the reports. Night guys. <laughs>